Hey guys, welcome back to the Summer of Knives 2020. Alright, this is going to be my Cold Steel EDC knives. Now, full disclosure, anything that you see here or if you click on the links below goes directly to my Amazon store. And if you do complete the purchase, I get like 20 cents or something like that. Uh, helps support the channel, helps support me making all these videos. Uh, alternatively, if you really want to, I'd appreciate it if you go to 3riverblades.com check out all the handmade US made knives that I make up there those are custom made by me so the way this kinda of started was uh, people were interested in my knife collection because before I made knives I used to collect them uh, and throughout the years I'll pick up a couple and then I'll do one of these videos so let's talk about my cold steel EDC collection all the knives that you see here uh, were, are either their users, their carriers or they, they belong uh, on a wall or in the safe, okay, because not all of them are users. Um, Cold Steel Spotter Series, big fan of it. I have carried this as an EDC knife. Uh, if you're going to carry a big blade, uh, there's no problem with it. I don't have a problem with it. Cold Steel is kind of the way to go. Uh, this has a triad lock. Uh, the blade length is about 5.5. Um, yeah, it's 5.5. It has a subdue finish this has a g10 grippiness it's really nice it's super super comfortable this runs you about 130 135 dollars on amazon i'll put the links down below you can reverse the clip uh, but it's not top down it's only it's only going to be tip up carry only okay uh, this does have the pocket opener so if you wanted to you put this in your pocket and then this little piece right here helps open the blade as you pull it out of your pocket it deploys got to be careful with that got to practice with that it does have different hand holds on this blade so if you wanted to get some reach you can all right now they do make the Espada SL and I have a lot of the Espadas but for me this one for as big as it is it's kind of slimline it's really not that bad and it's not that heavy I think this one comes in uh, about eight ounces all right so it's not terrible um, but as long as you have a belt on you should be able to keep it up some most of the time I'll carry this in my left pocket all right because I'm right-handed so I'll have my firearm on my right and this will be my backup knife all right not a bad backup knife primarily made for self-defense I'm not opening boxes with this I'll usually carry two blades when I'm gonna carry this uh, for obvious reasons some people freak out when they see a six inch blade okay it's just the way it is as I said I've, I've EDC that before all right the next one is the Cold Steel Voyager uh, um, or Vacalero I can't say it Vacaro Vacaro um, Vacaro this is a uh, CTS I'm sorry this blade is made out of CTS BD1 a lot of these blades that uh, they make are made in Taiwan uh, it's okay they have a good quality this does have this s type curve to it it has the grive grivery or uh, glass filled nylon type of sheath in i'm sorry uh, handle material which makes it super super light triad lock now i know they make these with serrations and lynn thompson is a big big on serrations i don't like serrations on my blade so thank you very much for making this and just a, a regular straight straight edge for me and I think they have a signature series on these too. Uh, lanyard hole, you can reverse it. So if you want to wear your knife on the right side or left side, you can. But very grippy knife and super lightweight. Super lightweight. This has uh, Grivery X, they call it. It's a plain edge. And they call it a stone wash. Okay, it doesn't tell me. Blade thickness is 4 mils. It doesn't tell, or 4 millimeter. It doesn't tell me how heavy it is, but it's super light. So, good EDC for a self defense. Again, self defense only. Uh, I'm not chopping up wood or opening boxes with that. Some people do tend to freak out. All right. The next blade was kind of hard to find. I think, well, I think the, the blade price is a little bit cheaper, but probably around 100 bucks. The next blade is the Lone Star. This is actually very hard to find, and I don't know why. It's the Lone Star Hunter. It's a flat blade. It does have, I, I, don't, I don't know if this is real stag or not. Maybe you guys know. You can tell me. But this was made a while ago, and, and Lynn brought it back, and I'm very happy he did. Clip point, 
uh, pretty much, you know, country boy, Texan kind of, you know, nice triad. I mean, this, this, it's, it's so smooth for, if you're used to using these type of knives and then you go to this, it's, it's so much better, so much better. It has the thumb flick on there. Again, you could change the pocket from one left side to the right side. It's fine. And it's not that heavy for what it is. It's mostly made of stainless steel. Uh, I don't know what blade steel this is. It doesn't say. If you guys know, put it in the comments below. Let me know. But this is very hard to find. I overpaid for this knife. I paid $112 for it. When these things first came out, they they were less than 50 bucks. So I overpaid for this knife because I wanted one, and it was very difficult to find. But if you guys are interested in the Lone Star, good luck trying to find one. I hope you really do. Uh, and if you do, let me know. Let everybody else know where to purchase them. Okay. The next blades that you're going to find are probably the most common. They are the Cold Steel Recon 1. Uh, I have, they're all four inch knives, which is my preference, triad lock. Overall length is uh, nine, nine inches when it's deployed, and it's a five, five inch and three eighths inch handle, three eighths inch handle, all right. Uh, two of them are CPM S30VN, which is the new steel, and one of them is OS8. So we'll start from this side. This is the Tanto. This is a newer version. Uh, you could still purchase these. This is the one with the good steel. All right, very grippy. Um, I've carried one of these all over the world. Fantastic knife. You really can't go wrong for the size, for the cost. I think these come in around a hundred dollars, maybe a little bit more, maybe like you know one fifteen, depending on where you buy it. So there's the Tanto. This is the one I carried pretty much everywhere. It's an OS eight. So it's an older style, but it does have the uh, spear point. And you can see this one is very well used. All right, big, fat, beefy, uh, grippy G10 handles, triad lock. Um, this is the bee's knees as far as I'm concerned with knives and carry knives. All right, this is the clip point. Again, Recon 1. It's got that finish on it, S35VN, made in Taiwan. And it also has, again, really, really, really good grippiness. Now, I do have a special order Recon 1 because I like the Recon 1 so much that I have one in stainless or, I would say, uh, satin finish. Uh, that one I think I got from Can Canada. It was like a Canadian outdoor store where they were having a specialty run and I was able to purchase one, which was awesome. Thank you very much. I wish I could remember that company. And uh, I have that at work, so I use that one at work every single day. Like I said, if it's not a Spyderco, it's most likely going to be um, probably a, re a Recon 1. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this little uh, review. Uh, I'm going to put all the links down below to the knives that are actually still available. If they're not available, I apologize. But please go to 3riverblades.com, check out all the great knives that we have up there, and I hope you enjoyed the series, and of course, always stay safe.